Here I have already made one in single color. We'll be using this elastic rubber band and I'm using these two yarn colors. I hope the combo turns out to be good. I'll be using a 4mm crochet hook but the hook size is not really important. You can use any hook depending on your yarn. Okay, so we'll start with a base color. Uh, I think I want this to be my base color. So once the base color is selected, let's begin by making a slip knot. Insert the hook through the elastic, pull up the loop, and secure it by chaining one. So chain one. Now that secures the loop. Okay. Take the tail along. It just makes your work smoother. And put one single crochet. Just keep putting one single crochet across the elastic band. That's it. One single crochet all across. And here, I have put it all around but you might want to see by stretching it a little bit. Here you can see that uh, the rubber is still visible. So push it down, slide it down a little bit and put some more single crochets around it. Once you're satisfied, slip stitch and join the round. Chain up 3 and we will be putting 1 double crochet into every stitch for about a quarter of the circle. And then we will change the color. So just keep putting 1 double crochet into every stitch with this cinnamon color and then we will change it into black. When you have two loops on your hook of the last double crochet, that is when you join the yarn. Uh, just take this along and crochet. Um, wait, maybe we should cut it. I don't want the strangler to interfere while stretching the rubber. Yeah, just to be safe, cut the yarn, tie them and double crochet to the next quarter. Double crochet by alternating the colors. And once you have done this, we will complete the round by slip stitching it to the top of chain 3. But here we will change the color back to cinnamon for the first quarter of the next round. So slip stitch it. In this round, we will be putting 3 double crochet into every stitch following the color combination from the previous round so just maintain the color and continue putting three double crochet into every stitch and i will meet you when you are done so it looks like this when you are at the end of the round it's all curling up and this gives us the scrunchy. Slip stitch it to the top of the chain 3 from the previous row. Chain 1 to secure and cut off the yarn. You can hide the tail later on. Okay. So this is what it looks like. It is very easy to make just with 3 rows of single crochet and double crochet. And this one is in plain color. When I stretch it like this, it seems that I could have put few more single crochet in the elastic band. But anyway, I like how it turns out. So let me know what would your color combination be and how uh, would you construct it. So that is it for the scrunchie. If you have any more questions, please feel free to ask me in the comment section below.